Hey, what's up guys? Gio here. So today I'm working on the Sub-Zero um, wine cooler that is not cooling. They go to model and serial number there. And I basically have to replace the heat exchangers and um, compressor on the unit along with that loop that's sitting in the um, the drain pad. I don't know if you guys can see all that oxidization on there. Condenser don't look too bad. And I have to replace uh, the copper looking going into the evaporator coil. I'm gonna replace the heat exchanger as well. It comes with the evaporator assembly. I like that camera here. You can see how the copper just deteriorates. This is not going to be an easy task because um, this plate here, I'm going to have to flip the unit on the side in order to even complete the repair. Hopefully the drain pan is not leaking. We'll figure it out. So I gotta turn it off and cut all these parts out. And stay tuned. All right, so I start cutting the evaporators out and Usually I like to just cut it out down here so I can, you know, just hang on to the, um, the existing one. So I can just make it the same way. Um, this is the one in the lower cabinet. And I'm just going to cut it down, down here. There's no refrigerant in the system. This is one of the side cutters, I'll call it. Alright, so that's out. That's out. Get on the hair and unscrew this. Mr. Here, all screws. Put a little bit up, get the right angle. No stubborn here for seven. screws and always make sure you clean out the defrost drain track. Always try to make sure that's clean when I'm done. And 
in town. And so we have it there. So let's pull it out of here. And then we're going to save this for later. Let's look at the condition of the heat exchanger. Look at all that. So sometimes you would just go and change out the um, evaporator or condenser or you replace a section like the section that's sitting in the, in the drain pan there and neglect to change the heat exchanger here. And eventually, because it's sitting inside this foam insulation here. Look at the copper, everything start falling apart. Unboxing. All right, so you got the evaporator coil assembly here. This is how it comes in the box. Um, both is the same for both both section, and you can see how you have to they call shim the unit in order to work on the other components below. So this is this is going to be a little fun. Make sure you seal back around the opening. Um, so this would they say wedge a clamp shell. Okay. Um, so this is what it looks like, and this is what I have to kind of shape it into this form here so I can get it in the back. Alright, so I'm going to get it in and see what it looks like after. Alright, so I got one evaporator in the upper one um, and now I am trying to get the lower one in. Trying to unravel it. All right. All right. So I got the front of the door all taped up. Just want to prevent any scratches or anything. It's a pretty expensive uh, refrigerator, um, and you could see, well, wine cooler. That uh, yeah, I got the new vap coil in. I still have to put you know the ceiling around here. I've um, got the wires all connected. Um, lower cabinet, same thing as well. Still have to what's that over here? Get that, get that out of there. Y'all didn't see that. Thought I cleaned it up. All right, so yeah, um, you can see where the old one looked like it was kind of leaking and sitting down the back wall here. And as I say, always make sure this little drain pan here is clean on both of the units. I'm gonna. Make sure before I put the panel back on, which is very important. You don't want to be having to come back because you forgot to um, clean out the, the drain pan area. Um, so, looking in the back here, I've been looking at it a little bit. So, this here is for the lower cabinet. This is the upper cabinet that I cut out. And just looking under here, I know they say put a piece of four inch block there to shim the side, but looking at all that deteriorated 
hopper and everything that I have to to repair. I don't know, I'm gonna try to take the compressor out and kind of just turn it onto the side and see if I'm able to get a better angle out of it so I can get it done. All right. All right, so I got the unit turned on its side so I can perhaps get a better working angle at it. Working outside. But that section right there was really deteriorated. That's the heat exchanger that's getting replaced. But it's so hard to get to all of this. And then I gotta bring these around. I gotta replace all of these. Let's see how to get better access here. All right, so you guys can <laughs> see how I have the compressor. Um, I don't have to worry about oil running all back down into the system because it's all collected now on <laughs> that side here. That's only the process tube, so it's not running back into the new coils. Um, I'm gonna solder this out and get that weight out of there that way. I can try to gain better access. Hopefully I can just try to pull this whole bottom panel off and be able to better work with all of that stuff in there and make it nice and nice and pretty. All right, be back. All right, so I'm still working on this wine cooler. I done got the panel here open up that way I can better access the component um, I got the compressor removed you could see here um, this is the two-way valve because it has no home position this is the heat exchanger here and get this repaired and one thing you could see here with the drain pan um, because this pipe here, which is the condensed um, condensed loop that sits into the pan to help the water evaporate, it was pressing against the corner here in the pan that caused the pan to crack because the pressure over time plus the heat. So I have sanded it and sanded it real good. And I got some special magic I'm going to apply to it supposed to work a little magic here so I'm gonna apply this let it cure have some time to cure while I get this old three-way valve and um, condenser, condenser assembly out of here yeah this thing was leaking for a little while that's why you see the water running under the pan and start damaging the, the bottom pan here All right, let me get this out of here all right, so I'm still working on this refrigerator. Just got the old heat exchanger assembly out with the three-way valve. I done repaired the drain pan with that magic stuff I showed you guys earlier. Should hold. And got the new, new heat exchanger. I was bending it into place in the same form, shape as the old one. That's why I try to keep it in intact so it makes it much easier for me. I done got the new condenser assembly in. Just got to solder in the other port. Almost there. It is now 
10 o'clock. My goodness, time flies. Huh, I've been working on this thing for a few hours already. All right, let me get, get back to it. <laughs> all right, so just a quick update. I got this um, seal in here. It's all hard, real hard rock solid. So I don't think that drain pan is going to leak anymore. So thumbs up for that. Hit that thumbs up button. And I got the condenser partially in. Um, I just re-soldered back this tin. Gave me a little hard time because the old copper from the whole heat exchanger kind of broken off in here. So I had to figure out a way to kind of um, get the new heat exchanger and reuse this T. I just kind of really polished it up because it was rusting. Um, but it's still in very good condition. Um, you know, those fitting parts, they make it much thicker than the actual um, copper itself. So I got everything back nice, neat, same shape. So I can put the same support and straps back exactly where it was. Um, just getting ready to try to flip this back over here shortly. Um, you gotta put the three-way valve back in the dryer filter to get that all finished tied in. Alright. Tie these up real nice. But this refrigerator is a lot of work. Alright, almost there. Alright, so just giving an update. I done got the heat exchangers in. You could see how I re-strap it back exactly where it was. And I fixed the drain pan that looks real nice, nice and solid. New dryer filter assembly, new three-way valve assembly. All the connection looks looks pretty good. Doesn't look like I'll have any issue, any leak or restriction, hopefully. And I'm getting ready to close this back panel back up so I can install the new compressor assembly. Try to get this wrapped up. Alright, stay tuned. Alright, so I got the unit back up. Um, I finished everything underneath it. Um, I just bolt the compressor back in, so now I have to put the process tube, um, connect the discharge and the, the return um, on the system here. Alright, so let me get that done and be right back. So I still got to fill, fill these. Alright. Alright, so it's about 1 o'clock in the morning. I just finished um, getting the uh, compressor in. And right now I have about 100, a little bit over 100 PSI in it. Just doing a pressure check with nitrogen. Um, I had a repair at the dryer filter. It was leaking, so I had to pop the unit up on the side and um, luckily I was able to just easily get to it um, so right now I'm hoping that it holds I'm gonna give it about 15 more minutes and then I'm gonna vacuum the system and charge it up so let's hope everything goes as planned Alright, so I charged the system up and wondering why the um, evaporator coil up top is not getting cold. Um, and it turns out I had misinterpreted the instructions. I had done thought this was the lower port. For the new seat, you know, the new style valve, because they change it. But it turns out it's actually this one in the lower port. 
connect the lower port to the upper port side. So I'm gonna have to, uh, this time I'm just gonna tilt it to the side and try to see if I'm able to just switch the calipari tubes and um, charge it back up. Hopefully that gets it going. All right, so just wrapping up this wine cooler. You can see right now the three-way valve is on and the lower evaporator assembly is on. You can see the uh, calipper tube over there getting nice and icy in the corner. And upper unit was just on. Evaporator coil still nice and icy fan just cut off and switch to the lower section I have it set right now upper 55 lower 55 I'm gonna see it gets to temperature and then hold it then I lower it some more just to make sure that everything's working properly all right Thank you guys for tuning in. Hit up that like, share, subscribe button. GL out.